Sooner or later, you're going to want to create your own Scrivener templates and share them online. Hi, this is Kaz from Scrivener Quick Start, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're creating a template that doesn't require special formatting and export settings, you can start off in a blank template. But if you're creating a book or screenplay template, it's useful to start off in one of the default templates for that specific writing. So for a cozy mystery, start off in a novel template. And for a blogging template, you can start off in a blank template. I'll choose a blank template. If the template you started in has instructions at the top of your binder, edit them to suit your template. If it does not include instructions at the top of the binder, add a file, write instructions, and change its icon to info. Then add all the interesting extras that make this project different from the default templates. In this blogging template, I've added folders to store information that a blogger will need close at hand when writing a post, a roadmap with all the important steps for creating a blog post, an option for scheduling posts by date, and another for scheduling posts by topic. Also, a folder to manage guest posts. Then I've included document templates, not to be confused with project templates. These are starter documents for creating each new blog post. If your template did not include a document templates folder, simply create a new folder and call it templates. In Scrivener 3, go to Project, Project Settings, Special Folders, Open the Templates folder drop-down menu and direct it to your Templates folder. In previous versions of Scrivener, go to Project, Set, Selection as Templates folder. The folders inside this Templates folder will automatically be marked with a special icon in the binder and any documents you add to this folder will be available as a new template when you go to Project, New from Template. Now let's go and save this whole project as a project template. Go to File, Save as a Template. Add a title as you want it to appear in the template browser. I'll call this Blogging Demo because I already have a blogging template. If you've got Scrivener 3, you can create a custom category. When you save this template, your new category will appear alongside the other categories in the Project Templates window with this template saved inside it. Open the Category drop-down menu and choose Custom. Give your category a name in the Name field below. I could choose my existing Quick Start category but I'm going to place this template in the miscellaneous category. Now you have a whole lot of display icons to choose from, which is definitely the way to go if you don't have access to image editing software. But I do, so I'll show you how to create your own. For Windows, you only need one image file, but if you're on a Mac, they want you to upload two different sized image files inside one folder. The Scrivener engine will automatically recognize which image is for regular display and which is for retina display. Click on this info icon for instructions, but a quicker way would be to save one of the existing icons and edit it in your image editing software. Choose an icon with color on it so that when you open it in your image app, it will be set to color and not black and white and then click on Save Icon. Don't click on OK just yet because we are not finished with this pop-up menu. Give it a name and if you're on Windows you need to set the file type to PNG. This is so that it has a transparent background. Click on Save. Here's the Windows PNG and here's the Mac folder with the PNG images inside. Open the image or images in your image editing app. 
Note that the Mac images are two different resolutions and you have to edit them both. But we'll start in the larger of the two. The method for editing the Windows image is exactly the same. Before you decide to add text on top or use an intricate image, bear in mind that this icon will be tiny when it's displayed in the menu. Import the image you want to use for your icon using whatever method best suits your app. Make sure it is above the original image in your Layers tab. If you're using Affinity Photo as I am, you have to rasterize it before you edit it, which you can do by right-clicking and choosing Rasterize. Whichever app you're using, lower the opacity so that you can see the image below. Resize your image if you need to and adjust it to where it fits best above the original image. Set the opacity back to 100%. Hide the image. Make sure you have the bottom layer selected. Find the Rectangle Selection tool and draw a marquee around the icon shape. Unhide the image and select it. Copy and paste the marquee selection and then hide the image below. Don't hide the original because we want to keep its shadow. Hit Command or Control D to deselect the marquee selection. The aspect ratio of the second original image is the same as the first, so select the new image, copy it, open the other original image and paste your new image on top. You might have to make fine adjustments to any text you included. Export your images as PNGs. And then one last thing, I've saved these images independently, but I want them to replace the images in the original folder. So I'll simply drag them in and choose Replace. Now, back in Scrivener, open the icon drop-down menu and select Choose. Navigate to the folder with your new icon image, the whole folder if you're on a Mac, just the PNG file if you're on Windows and click on Open. If you've set any styles in your template that you want to include, place a check inside the Styles box and click on OK. And let's go and look at the template in the Scrivener Project Templates menu. I saved this template into the Miscellaneous category. Open the Options drop-down menu. If it's not exactly what you expected, open Edit Template Info and make adjustments. If everything is in order, select Export Template. Its file type will be a Scriv template, so you'll have to explain to whoever you're sharing it with how to import it into their Scrivener app. Feel free to direct them to the video explaining how to do that at the top of my templates page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you'll have a go at creating and sharing templates for your kind of writing.